Hey. <laughs> so bright. It's bright. Start off. You call it this meeting. <laughs> So we want to explain a few things. We want to come on here and say what is happening in our lives right now. We have, we alluded to the fact that we had some big news coming. And then we kind of gave a hint as to what that news was a couple weeks ago. But um, we've decided due to RV life, we're going to kill each other. No, we're um, we're gonna go full time. <laughs> yeah. So. So we've gone full time. We have gone. We are going full time. We're in the process of going full time. There's no turning back though. Mm -mm. Nope. None. None whatsoever. It's done. We've uh, we've moved in. That's it. Right there. That's, that's the house. This is our new home. That's it. <laughs> so let's just get right down to it. Okay. One, you did the teaser. Actually, we did the teaser with the, with the, the giveaway. Yeah. Then we got busy and didn't have to do anything. Phoned one in and put up a short. So now we're trying to catch up and let everybody know what exactly is going on. So, um, I guess about a month ago, we got an unsolicited offer on our house. And we went back and forth a couple of times with the people and ultimately it came down. They wanted the refrigerator free. I wasn't gonna give the refrigerator free so the deal fell apart. Well, we decided to go ahead and just list the house anyway and see what happens and doggone it if it didn't freaking sell. So, um, <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's it. I mean, we, th this has always kind of been in our plan, just not on this schedule. Um, I think we were thinking, you know, three to five years out and this happened in the course of about 22 days. Mm -hmm. So we, we have some very unique challenges that I don't think have been addressed by any of the other other channels. Everybody says, you know, they prepared for a year, year and a half. They did a lot of research. We did none of that. Um, we, we mentally prepared. Like no, we, 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 didn't. we kind of thought that we one day wanted to do this and it would be fun, but like we didn't actually think through what was going to happen. Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you how this got prepared for that. I equate this to Maria and I deciding that we want to clown climb Mount Everest and mentally preparing to do that. And then, three weeks later going and actually trying to do it and damn near killing ourselves. So that's how we prepared for this. Um, but like, if you think back, the, the, it's, this is kind of the way we do things. We don't just, we yeah. don't ever do anything a little bit. We yeah, always it, jump in and feet like completely in. <laughs> yeah. If, if you're a planner, this is not the channel for you. We don't plan squat. We just kind of, crap happens and and we end up dealing with it and buying three different RVs because of it or I mean we just we, we don't plan we're very seat of the pants but we're fantastic at finding full RV spots so you know we've ne that doesn't stress us out but anyway getting off track because it's supposed to be kind of kind of short but I say that to say you know we did research as to you know, how do you go full time? What steps do you go through? You know, what do you need to look for? And everything that we saw is very, you know, pie in the sky, very, you know, 10,000 foot overview. Well, you need to have an RV. You need to have a truck. Just go buy one. No, that's, that's not the truth. It, it couldn't be further from the truth. There's a lot that goes into this. Had we started selling things a, a year ago? Yeah, maybe we'd be in a little bit better shape, but for the past month, we've gone to, we've taken our son's stuff that he wanted from our house, um, taking it all the way out to Dallas. Um, we're getting ready to make a trip to Atlanta, Georgia to take our daughter some of the stuff that she wanted. We've rented U-Hauls on both sides of it. Um, 
Movers, both ends. Movers on both ends. Um, the RV needed some things that, that I wanted done to it personally that to make things easier for full timing. Um, I didn't want the external surge protector anymore. I wanted the internal one. Well, the videos are wrong on that. It's not a 45 minute install. That That's a half a day and two gallons of water. That one was rough. Um, and that was with two people doing it. Um, it is also <laughs> a lot to do with where we live. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, the heat didn't help. But 90 degrees and 90% humidity here in Alabama. But then, you know, we get into the insurance side and, you know, we'll, we'll go deeper into that. But the insurance coverage we had wasn't correct for, for what we've got. You know, it was, you know, more for weekending. Then you get into the camper setup. This thing is perfectly set up for, you know, four day weekend camping. And, and we did that almost every week. I mean, we'd leave on Thursday and come back on Sunday. Um, you know, we, we went and did 30 days out in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and I still consider that, that temporary, you know, weekend camping. Um, this is not set up for full timing. Full timing is completely different. You know, we keep duplicate sets of things in, in the RV. You know, we have kitchen stuff for the RV. We have kitchen stuff for the house. Well, now we're having to combine both of those and figure out what do we want to keep and keep in the RV. Where does it go? Um, yeah, we've been married for 20 nine almost 29 years and we have we had that much stuff when we moved up to north alabama almost four years ago we had to go through it then but you there were stuff in boxes that we never even opened from when we moved up here so well, and and i didn't have to deal with any of that you know i, I transferred <laughs> up here you stayed down there and finished all the crap with with that stuff i didn't even see none of it yeah. so this time you know we we've got you know, a, a dual walk-in closet full of clothes. And I've, I've got Maria wanting me to pick out, you know, what I need to keep. And my process for doing that is completely different from her process from it. From it. Um, and I, I don't know how many y'all are out there like me and wives, husband, I don't care who comments, you know, let us know. My way is I want to keep this, this, and I make a pile. And then that pile gets scooted over into another area so it doesn't get you know mixed back in with the other stuff well you know that when you I take a stressful to, i and, prefer to leave <laughs> things on hangers that are going to stay on hangers and not have to put them back on a hanger later and this I, is just how we're different and i, I okay. don't like taking a hanger and moving it to another section and having to move stuff constantly so i just throw it all on the floor um, and it adds more stress to an already stressful situation um, <laughs> But yeah. that was yesterday, so we're, yeah, was, we're over that. So, you know, <laughs> then we get into this thing, and they look massive. I mean, you would think that this thing would hold a lot of stuff. It, I'm telling you, they don't. The closet's uh, tiny. <laughs> it's So then, then you start looking at, you know, we, we've got four doors up there, and they all open this way. Well, if you're standing on this side of the bed, and this door opens up that that's fine but the next one over in the center of the bed if it opens up hell you can't get into it so now i got to move the doors um i got to do that this afternoon um so that's that um you know we we're having some struggles i think it's all going to be fine in the on the in the end though it, it's it all going to be great we're we're going to have a <clears throat> We're going to donate 200 grand worth of stuff no, to somebody. No, <laughs> we are not. We're having an estate sale this um, coming weekend. And then we're closing the weekend after that. And then who knows what's going to happen. We haven't planned further than that. But that's, that's, not, that's how we roll. <laughs> but the only thing we did do was we went ahead and we booked a, uh, a one-month stay at a campground. And depending upon what shakes out with with my job either we're leaving and going to utah or we're gonna stay in in the southeast somewhere um so anyway that that's where we're at um if you have any suggestions any comments um i love sarcasm so it's you know so <laughs> feel free to 
come up with the sarcastic comments for this situation. Also, tell us what else we need to do. Like, <laughs> yeah, help we us have, plan. We have our we have our forwarding mailing address. We've got our insurance set up. We have uh, we're we're going to domicile. We haven't done that yet. We have to still change our address on all of our banking accounts and all of that. But um, what else do we need to do? We've moved in. We've, we're downsized, or we're in the process of still uh, downsizing. Yeah. We're around one. We've sold our size. house, pretty much. We've got to close, but that's it. What else do we need to do? Tell us. Yeah, we're if, new at this. If, we're if, not new at RVing, but we're new at full-timing. If so. you're a planner, put us a plan together and let us know. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you work in some industry that, that we don't know about, that we need to know about, let us know. Uh, if you work in marriage counseling, let us know. <laughs> that is a joke. Um, good. That is that is a joke. We are good. Uh, <laughs> but that's where we are. For now, we're good. <laughs> oh, organizer. We need an organizer to help us organize crap in the... Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Just ideas of what, where you put ideas stuff. Ideas of that's, where you put stuff. That is, that's, that, that would be helpful. Do, do the vacuum bags work? I mean, that. Yeah. What, what do you do with, we have summer clothes and, you know, evidently we're, we're the weird few that actually like the cold weather. So we're probably going to be in some colder climates at some point. What in the world do you do with, with all your heavyweight winter clothes? Do you, do you put them? In the heated underbelly? Do you put them under the front cap? Do you suction them down and throw them under the bed? I mean, what what are y'all doing with all this stuff? So That's our current plan is to put them under the bed. Yeah, we're but, gonna put them under the bed. But anyway, I guess that's a wrap, huh? That's a wrap. All right, we'll do a more in-depth video on all the things. There's a bug on it. Oh, later. There it goes. Yeah, we're gonna go into each one of these so that. we were done take two <laughs> we're gonna go back through each one of the each one of these to explain to y'all because it's really not clear in, in the videos we've seen um, the domicile process um, we're probably going to document that pretty thoroughly uh, the mailing address was fairly easy but there is some paperwork involved um, we'll cover that in those two in the same video the insurance was eye-opening um, and I'm actually going to see if we can get the agent that we use to help us put a video together because I've got a feeling a lot of y'all are in the same boat that we were and you're either extremely uninsured or don't understand that the insurance you have probably is is not in your best interest um, and those will be the upcoming videos Yep. from either we know they'll at least be from North America. Yes. Maybe Canada. That's in North America. Oh. <laughs> you can edit that, right? All right.